Hey guys, and today's from the install bay. We're going to show you how to hook up a PAC Audio SWIRC steering wheel control interface. So stay tuned. So replacing your radio in your car, it's got factory steering wheel controls. You want to retain them. You need an interface to do that. There's a couple of them to choose from. Today we're going to show you how to use the SWIRC from PAC Audio. We're going to walk you through the steps it takes in order to do it. Then we're going to go ahead and put it in the car. So let's get started. So let's open up the box and take a look inside. So we have a ton of instruction manuals, wiring harness, and then the unit itself, and a bag of resistors. Now, the easiest thing to do, or how I like to do it, first open up this one here. Now this lists all the cars that this unit will do. So what you want to do is find your car first. So today we just so happen to be working on a 2014 Toyota Tacoma. We're going to go ahead here, get the T. Right. We don't need these. Relocate those to the trash can. We've got our Sharpie. We're going to find the Tacomas. 2014, 2013, they list two. So one probably is for a Bluetooth stereo and one probably is not. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna mark both. Okay, now, what it's showing us here is the year. It's showing us uh, if we need a CAN interface, we don't. It's showing us if we need to cut any of the loops on the wiring harness. There's two loops on this wiring harness. There's a purple and a brown, so we don't want to cut either one of those. It's telling us that the RC information wire is going to be white. It's telling us what harness we're going to use, and then it's going to give us a brief overview of the wires we're going to connect to. The programming version of the unit, so in this case it's 8. So what I like to do is take my Sharpie and put a big number 8 on the back. And then it's telling us what notes we need to look at. So now, let's go to the notes page. So for the most part, it looks like we're going to use the same thing here. Let's just look at the two notes. We got 267, and 288. Happen to be on the same page, so we'll trim that down, get rid of that. So we'll come over here to 267, it's right here. 288 is right here. So we'll read the longer one first because it looks more painful. All right, now let's figure out we needed 28, the Toyota 28. So we're going to grab this next sheet of paper. The Toyota 28. So this is the Toyota 28. So it said pin 23. Pin 23. We're also going to need pin 21. And we're also going to need pin 22. Okay, and it's showing us right here where those are located. So, pin 23 is a white red. And that's going to go to ground. Pin 21 is a purple white. And that's going to go to the interface's white wire. And pin 22 is a yellow black. And that's going to go to white red. So now for the most part we're done with all this stuff. We can set that aside in case we need it for later reference. But for the most part, this is what we have. This is all we need. We can go into the car with this. We know what the harness looks like. We know where the pins are. We know what the factory wiring color is. And we know what our aftermarket wiring color is. So now we're going to get to the harness itself. The harness comes with a bunch of cool wires on it. You're always going to need red and black because that's power and ground. Let's go ahead and separate those from the pack. Now according to the sheet we just did, it said we're going to need white and white red. Now white is this, separate those for a second, white has three wires attached to it. They have a white black and a white red. So we know we're going to need white red and we're going to need white. So we're going to need these two. We're not going to need white black. So we'll go ahead and get rid of white black. And we know we need red and black. 
And we know we don't want to touch either one of these two loops. So that leaves the green, orange, yellow, and blue we don't have anything to do with. So we'll go ahead and just remove those from the harness to make our install a little cleaner. Okay, so now we have the wiring that we need to hook up into the car. We're going to go ahead and make it look pretty. Now on the unit itself, it's got a pigtail and it's got a blue yellow wire. JVC and Kenwood are going to use this blue yellow wire. If you're not doing a JVC or Kenwood, you don't need the blue yellow wire. So go ahead and cut it off. And then just cap it. I like to take a zip tie. Gets me ready. So that number, now that on the side there's a dial. That dial corresponds to what radio you're using. And the actual instruction seat, sheet for the universal, on the top here it tells you what number you need to turn that dial to. So we're using a Pioneer, so we need to make it 7. So we'll go ahead and we'll turn this to 7. Now for the most part this is set up. I'm just going to go ahead and plug that in. I'm going to zip tie these together. The reason why we zip tie it together is just in case the steering wheel control module goes bad, I would much rather cut a bunch of zip ties and a whole bunch of tape. Okay, so once you have your harness all set and ready to go, you need to connect it to the harness that's in the car, or the harness you're going to plug into the car. In this case, we got a power and ground we need to hook up. So we'll go ahead and strip back some of the wire. Okay, so now we're all set and ready to go. We have these three wires we're going to hook up into the car. Uh, so let's get into the car and finish it up. Okay, so we're in the car. We got our sheet of notes. We got our hole in the dash. We got our harness. Let's find our colors and get this thing going. So we know we got pin 23, which is white red. So we got a white red, we got a purple white, and we got a yellow black. So we'll separate them from the harness. We'll go ahead and strip it back. So white red is ground, which is black. Purple white is white. And yellow black is red white. Let's go ahead and solder them up. Okay, so now it's time to program it. What you're gonna to wanna to do is there's a little button on the side here. Go ahead and put your finger on that, hold it down, turn the car on, it's going to come on, we're going to press it eight times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now it's going to blink eight times, now it's, time, now it's ready for programming. So. Let's get to that. So for programming, you're going to want to turn to the last page in the instruction manual. You're going to want to come over to where it says the radio you're trying to put in. In this case, we're putting in a Pioneer. We're going to want to follow. This is the order. So what I like to do is fold this thing up so that all I have is that. So what you want to do is you want to push the button once, volume up, volume down, mute, preset up. Preset down, source, track up, track down, band, then there's one you don't need, hit the button, phone menu, and then we'll go answer call, end call, voice activation. And then when we're done, we're just going to wait until this thing flashes out. All right, so it's done flashing. So now we just want to make sure buttons do something. So we'll hit every button. And we're good. Now, each steering wheel is going to have different buttons, and you're going to be limited on what you can do. 
This particular card happens to have an extraordinary amount of buttons. Most of the time you usually have like three or four plus the Bluetooth. So if you're coming along and you're programming and then you need to skip, skip is just press the button. So you do like volume up, volume down, skip, 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 this, this, that, that, skip, skip, that, that, this. So that's how that works. So now we'll go ahead and plug the radio in and test all the buttons. Okay, so we got the steering wheel controls installed. Let's go ahead and test them out. We got volume up, we got volume down, we got source. We have presets, I'm sorry, uh, station up, station down, preset, preset, band, and we have Siri, and we have enter call and end call. Okay, so they're all doing what we need them to do. That's wonderful. Thanks for watching. You can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. If you have a question or comment, leave it down below and we'll get back to you. Otherwise, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching as usual. You guys have a good night. We'll see you later. Bye. So you want to put an aftermarket stereo in your car and replace that bunk ass? <laughs> Guess I shouldn't say that. Button your pants, man. <laughs>